is a um, lady in her 50s, and she came to see me for her um, um, tooth number 18, having some uh, um, percussion and chewing sensitivity. This uh, was done uh, someplace in Asia, as far as the root canal was uh, done, and you can tell from the, the x-ray that it's uh, short filled and i um, not sh even sure if the mesial lingual canal is filled. And the crown doesn't have a really good fit. Uh, this still looks to be uh, open margins. And uh, so we went ahead and uh, tried to uh, do a retreatment on this tooth. Uh, we went ahead and cleaned it out and it looked actually that it had only two canals uh, from uh, um, my working lens. And then this is the final fill, and then uh, instructed the patient to go back and get a new crown or a bridge placed on this tooth. And the um, patient was, uh, seemed to be very pleased with that. This um, next case is also interesting due to the fact that uh, one of her front teeth had um, a silver point. Um, uh, filling down uh, from probably 1980s, and um, that's why it uh, has this uh, large radiolucency at the apex. Usually anything over uh, um, two, three millimeters uh, in uh, width, uh, as far as the radiolucency, um, I won't treat uh, uh, as a retreat, but uh, this case seemed to be okay just because it had a, radio, um, a, a silver point. And number nine, uh, seems like it has a very uh, large cast post um, and a crown and a very poorly done root canal. Uh, so we decided to do number eight. And uh, number eight um, has a short filled and a very large radiolucency. So we uh, told the patient we're going to go through the tooth and uh, if the crown fractures off, he might um, need to get a new one. Uh, so we did the retreat and uh, got a working length and this is the final fill and you can uh, um, we're going to follow it up uh, in one year to make sure everything is healing uh, within normal limits.